If you'd like to learn how to control multiple parts using just one script, keep watching and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Hi everybody and welcome to Roblox Snippets. Now when you create a game or a project, there's quite often parts that you will put into your, your game. So if we come up here to add a part into the workspace like this, and we'll just come down and change its color to something else. And we'll set its size down here to say be 6 by 0.5 by 6 to make it a tile and we'll set this to be anchored all right so say this is a um, a path or, or a button in your game and you have these all over the place and they do exactly the same thing uh, only instead of having say you had a hundred of them in here if you had a script attached to each one then that would be a hundred scripts running just to do one thing and that takes up resources on your computer and it slows down your game and the performance of your project and for that reason we can make use of a special thing called uh, tagged parts so so that we've got more than one part we'll we'll name this up here part one and we'll simply right click on this and duplicate it and just drag it across uh, to the right or left and we'll change this to be part two and we'll do it one more time and say duplicate here and we'll move this across over here somewhere and we'll call this part three right so here we have three parts and we want to uh, attach a script that will make these do the same thing each time a player touches them so we'll come over and we'll control this from our server script service so left click click on server script service click on plus and we'll add a script and we'll call this our tagged part script and we'll get rid of the hello world inside now when we do use um, tag parts we use a special service called the collection service so we'll create a variable for that called uh, CS short for collection servicer which will be equal to game and then colon get service and collection service all right so the collection service uh, has a bunch of special methods uh, that help us um, clean up or, or group together certain things and uh, makes our job much easier so what we're going to do is we're going to use the collection service to grab this group of parts over here and tag them so we'll create a variable here to begin with called tagged parts and this will be collection service and then we add a colon and we're going to say get tagged whoops uh, just get tagged so what this will do it will the, the game will or the collection service will look to try and find any parts that have whatever the tag is that we put in here so now that we have this here we need to actually create the tag over here so we're going to use a plugin and you'll notice if I'm in the script here and I click on plugins lots of things get blanked out so you need to come over and make sure you're in the workspace view and then click on plugins and you should have your uh, plugins show up here now Roblox uh, studio now comes with this tag window and it should be by default now if you don't see this here don't panic come over to uh, the manage plugins over here and left click on this sorry left click and this should bring up a window like this and in here it should have any plugins that uh, you have and if they are indeed um, active then they'll be green and if they're switched off at the moment then they'll be grayed out like this so find the tag window I've got another tag editor in here by Sweet Hartichoke if you wanted to look in the um, toolbox and get a, a different one however the standard one up here will work just fine so once you do do that, um, you can just click on it and add it and it'll appear in this window under plugins. So come up to the tag window and left click on this and just this simple little window here will appear. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add a new tag. So just next to here where it's got a grey box, click in here and we're going to call this um, just my parts. Okay, you can make up any name you like and it will come up with a box up here with a checkbox next to it so now what we're going to do is come over into the Explorer 
window and left click on part one and then hold down your shift key and left click on the last one to select all of them at once. So once they're all in blue, come over to my parts and click in the checkbox next to it. And once that uh, check has come up, you, you have tagged the parts and we are ready to go. And you just need to remember what we called it here, my parts, written this way. So even with that open, we can come in here and type in here, my parts. Right, and we've got our tag. So we can close this window and we don't need that anymore. So now what we want to do, this will return to us a table which represents these parts in it. So we'll need to loop through that um, each part and set up any code that you would normally write in any other script. So the way we'll do that is to say for underscore, which means for however many there are in this uh, particular table, TP, so to represent uh, each tagged part in the table or the tagged parts table and do all right so this will loop through all of those and now you can write your script just as you would for any other script so in this case we're writing a we want um, the player to run on and touch this uh, each particular part so we'll say local db equals true we use db dbounce to control our script and now instead of using the name tagged part over here, um, oh sorry, part one, etc., as you would, you might have up here local part one equals script dot parent. Well, in this case, we can simply put TP, which is for each one, a dot, and then touched. Now you don't get helper text here, so because this hasn't actually been created yet, so there's no path. So just make sure you create um, or type this. Um, correctly and then connect a function to this and two sets of brackets there inside we put hit as a parameter so which part of a player is actually hitting our tag part and once we're inside of this we can say if uh, db so if db is true we're going to immediately set db to be false and then towards the end of the script We'll set db, uh, so we'll go, we'll wait, task.wait of say two seconds, and set db back to true. Then you can do whatever you want to do inside of here. So in this case, we're going to um, change the, the look of, uh, like we did in the example. So we'll say tp dot brick color equals brick color dot new and we'll make this just a plain brown you can uh, pick whatever you like and tp.material will equal enum.material.woodplanks and the tp.size we can say equals vector3.new and we will make this now at the moment uh, we said they were six so let's say we change them so that they are eight so eight zero uh, for the y because we don't want to make them higher and eight so they'll get uh, slightly bigger and they'll change to this so with that if I close these windows here that is all you need whoops I took that bracket away that is all you need in order to make this run all right so let's come up and click on file and save and we'll come up to view and I'll just turn on my output window in case we get any errors and let's play all right I'm loaded into the game and if I run over to my first part you'll see that it changed to brown boards and if I run to the second one same thing and run to the third one so with one script we have applied this to each of these parts now you can apply this to hundreds of parts not just three and you don't necessarily have to have it all do the same thing so for example in here because we named over here our parts distinctly we've got part one you could add in here if you like um, other conditional statements so that you can do different things so for example if we said here if TP 
dot name all right equals and let's say we just do it to part one like this so it has to be exactly the same then we might add this in here but we'll change this details in here so let's say we change this to be uh, bright green all right and instead of wood planks let's say we make this um, I'm not sure say um, fabric just as an example and we'll also make this a bit bigger and below this we can just say else and we can move this block of text uh, code in here and we'll just tidy this up a little bit and I'll just close this so you can see and now what you can see is for the anything called part one this is going to apply anything else it's going to apply to this now we've only got three parts in here at the moment so how about we actually uh, select those over here and if you right click on all of them when they're selected and duplicate them we can uh, come up to here and we'll move them down this way and let's say we do that again and we'll move those down there all right now you might think well do we need to tag them again now because they're already tagged this should work but we will run it and test it and just make sure that that is the case so let's click and turn on our output window and we'll go file and save and let's play all right I'm loaded into the game and we've got our nine squares here so if I run over here that must be part two ah there we go that's a that's a one and now we're back to two and if I run over here you'll see only part one is the one that is having things applied to it not very useful and it's see how it overlaps and hovers like this or shutters that's because the parts are overlapping and you, you don't generally want to do that but you can see how useful that is and um, I'm sure you can come up with lots and lots of different uses for this uh, particularly if you wanted to have a lava part and do damage to players and things like that that would be very useful so uh, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in future videos if you found this video useful subscribe now for more information about my online courses go to mrbrennanross.com